Well, I think, you know, hurling, I suppose, given the fact that it's, it's, it's uniquely Irish and it's something that, that, you know, we wear with pride in our, on, our, on our sleeves, really. And, you know, you take great pride in being able to, uh, you know, go overseas and, and, uh, and maybe, um, you know, tell people that, that you play this sport. The fact that it is uniquely Irish, obviously, it's not, it's not too well known outside of Ireland. Um, you know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I think it's great to be able to explain to people how, how hurling works and, and, and the tradition of, of hurling as well. Back to the back to the ancient days has always been very tribal, so I think you know we're only carrying forward that that tradition, um, albeit maybe in a more civilized uh, fashion than than, uh, uh, than what our, our, our predecessors did. Like, but I think um, you know it, it's always a great source of pride. Number one, to be able to represent your county because you know you're 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 doing it for for the pride of your county and you're up against your um you know your neighbors and i suppose it, it's in the irish psyche that you always want to have one over your your neighbor and you always want to be the best in your locality so i think from that point of view that's what makes the game so so unique but i think what people also forget is that um you know unlike other sports you know people um, from 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 rival teams can go into a ground and mix freely together, and there's never any animosity or any any tension. And I think that's one thing that that maybe the GA is unique in in modern sport that that maybe no other uh, sport can can um, uh, can claim is is happening. You know, so I think that's very very important as well that that we retain that sense of of good nature, tribalism, and yeah.